And it has come down to this, folks. We have seen the hell on earth as we have never seen thus far. Samuel Masters has defeated Eric Spade. He has defeated. So much has happened today. D Dr. DT has flown and Eric Spade with that flip out baton. Has well, let's get back to the match at hand, the finals of the Hardcore Hell Tournament. He has beaten Damian Fatal. He has beaten Eric Spade. And tonight, he is ready. He is still sore from his match against Spade as well. But right, and he had enough time to change his wardrobe to do. He's in the finals of the Hardcore Hell Tournament. Unfortunately, Havoc will not be joining him. Havoc was eliminated and Q Stars is his opponent tonight. Masters is not 100%, but also neither is his opponent, Q Stars. Q Stars, former BW champion, after suffering a knockout loss to our new and current champion, DJ Carter, who will be defending his title tonight after the World Heavyweight Championship title match with the winner of this map will face the World Heavyweight Champion at Legacy. Legacy 4. This is my power. He has just said it emphatically, this is his power. But that could be a two-way street for this match. He could be even dishing out the hell or he could be suffering. And here he is, folks. The man who achieved his dream at Vicious Valentine's and became the BWA champion. A man who loves strippers, but he loves the title more. There he is now. Usually with a smile on his face, but after that hardcore match with Rona Havoc, he's also so as well. But remember, these matches are contested under hardcore rules, so at least they'll have at least four weeks to rest up before Legacy 6 coming to you live and in color. Right now, he's still trying to get the fans all he has. But who can play face better? Who can hide the pain more? These matches are under hardcore rules and the finals are hardcore as well. The only way to win this match, by pinfall or submission. Hell, it might even be a knockout rule in this match, which does not favor two stars, but it doesn't favor Masters either. Both of these men have fun. In grueling competition. He defeated Damian Fatale and Eric Spade to make it to the finals. He's a former multiple time world heavyweight champion. Greatness, Samuel Masters! And his opponent, he defeated Raphael and Roland Havoc to make it to the finals of this tournament. He is a former BEWA champion, Q Stars! This match is gonna be contested under hardcore rules. This is the finals of the hardcore hell tournament. The winner of this tournament gains a main event title opportunity at Legacy. But neither of these men are at 100% at the moment. And contrary to popular belief, Jacob Practice is not dead. And now they lock up. This is all about hiding the pain. That Q Stars isn't any less powerful than he was going into the match. Masters feeling in his ribs right now. But this is all about playing face right now. This is all about hiding the pain. You have to inflict it, you have to take it, you have to endure. This is what the finals are. Masters with a kick. And now another kick to the side. The forearms. To the shoulder, two stars. If he takes out that arm, he takes out a lot of the power game. Wrenching and twisting on that shoulder. Going for the cover. Could be a winner right there, too. That's the shot. Go for the quick covers. Now, who can blame him? You take out what's already vulnerable. You have the clear advantage in this match. In fact, you can even hide your own vulnerabilities except for those chops to the ribs. And that was straight right hand. Which Oh, he's leaving with the headlock in this match, and Masters down to one knee. Oh, and the punch to the ribs again. Oh, wait a minute. And about that little stretch right there, taking on the ribs. 
He could either be relocating them or dislocating them. But right now, and he raced the eyes. Samuel Masters raked the eyes of two stars breaking the submission hole. There are no rope breaks, there are no count outs, and the referees just another victim. All he has to do is count. Who knows what's going on? Oh, and he rams the shoulder into the turnbuckle. Masters continuously working on that shoulder. Twisting on the arm. Uh, now Hammerlock. Oh no, wait a minute. Not this! Oh, Hammerlock directly to the turnbuckle. Dear God. What is with Masters and shoulders this year? That's Masters right now. He doesn't care if he dislocates that arm. He can break it off and kick his ass with it. Whatever gets him the legacy. Whatever gets him to the title opportunity. And now forearm to that shoulder again. Oh no, the power of Q Stars! On to the break to that ring post. He doesn't need two shoulders to lift a grown man, apparently. And now the referee just making sure there's a cover. He's just making sure a false count anywhere. And now he's on the ribs. Leaning directly. That was a dick move if you think about it. Leaning directly on those ribs. Now false count anywhere. The weapons are legal and the crowds are just innocent bystanders. And now he's got that chair. That chair. Oh, God, no. Q stars pushing the chair to the ribs and he's screaming in agony and cursing profusely as well. Who can blame him? Don't let the change the entire fool you. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? Shut up, Brad. He looks like a bitch. What? Why are you trying to fuck him like a bitch? Now that we've answered the riddle of Marcellus Wallace, let's get back to the match at hand. As Q stars dropping masters on his back. Onto the side of the apron. But how much can he hide that shoulder? We've seen it ran into the turnbuckle. Master's ribs have got to be in pain, if not broken. Q going for the cover. Could be the winner of the hell on turn. Two! But the more he kicks out, the more wind he takes out of himself. He has to survive this one way or the other. If Masters is to take this out, remember, every move he does, and most of his requires flips. Requires the contraction of his own chest muscles. And, and his ribs being this damaged, his offense will actually be a downfall as well. And now his, his shoulder's not down because the arm is and he chops his leg to break out of it. Masters getting getting a second wind on the outside again. It's two stars seemingly on the offensive. Still worrying about that shoulder as well. This is the hell on their finals. Wait a minute. Damn it! Masters baited him. Masters baited him. He gave him something fresh from the oven. It was a broken cookie sheet to the face. Go for the one. Two. Two. There are no, there are no, there's no love lost in this match. We've seen Dr. DT fly like a bat out of hell not too long ago in the U.S. title street fight. But come to think of it, every match with DT is a street fight in hell on earth. I've yet to see a normal match at all, but right now we have Masters and we have two stars. And now he's showing him what it feels like to have his rib stepped on. You can see the agony in Q's face. The referee's asking. These two men can be can pat themselves on the back once they heal up for making it this far in this tournament. This is unlike the Ascension tournament where there are no more matches. This is where you go through hell. This is where you put your body on the line. Oh my god. Just like that crowd member says, oh! Ramming his good shoulder into Master's bad ribs. And now, Q being innovative, reassembling the cookie sheet. Oh God, no, not to the ribs. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute, not this. He hit him square in the ribs and to the small of the back as well. And now Q stars. You don't need that much shoulder strength to knock a grown man with a cookie sheet. Master's down again. Q slow in the cover. One, two. Could be a no. Q has to limit those power moves. 
or at least make them count a little more. Because the more he does those power moves, the more it takes out on his shoulder. And also on the light side, it takes more out of Masters because of his injured ribs. And Masters with his offense can be taking more out of him than the slams would. Oh, wait a minute. No. No! Backbreaker! No! Thank God! Lethal combination right there. Q stars slowing the cover again. Can't be as quick as he wants to in the finals of the tournament. But all you really truly need is that arm over the chest to get the three. But hooking the leg helps as well. Hooking the oh, did he just headbutt him? He's headbutting him. They are really getting primitive in this match. There are headbutts and cookie sheets and just damn stomps to the face. Q stars. Soccer kick to the lower back again and the back of his ribs. Neither one of these men will be 100% if the match was next week. Thank God this is a trip to legacy. This is the opportunity to take one of the last title opportunities. Whoa, oh, wait a minute. Go ahead. No. Double counter. They both had each other scouted. Whoa. 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 Masters. That roaring forearm. But that rotation again. Taking it out of the ribs. Masters was able to rotate, but he also turned to pivot his body. Is that a hero? Uh, is that a hero? Oh, what? what the fuck? Excuse me. Oh. I got to shoot for us. <laughs> but the more, it may have done the damage, but it was not a two. But now he's regretting it a little bit. It better be a hero, bitch. It better be a hero. And now Masters to his feet. Q stars being thrown. And now he's giving the kicks. Once that adrenaline kicks in. That's no, oh, dear God, no. Ooh, that is the worst place to be for Masters. As Q stars caught him in a bear hug. Q stars has the bear hug locked in. Masters had that adrenaline flowing. He didn't even know he had ribs until that bear hug was caught. Will he tap out? Will he submit? Will Q stars win this match by breaking Samuel Ribs into pieces? And now Masters breaking the eyes. But that wind has got to be taken out of him. It's got to be hard for him to breathe right now, especially with Q stars. And if Q had both his shoulders intact, he may have won this match. But remember, he's still suffering as well. But he's able to get enough out of Masters, and now they're both down. One of these men will win the Hardcore Hell Tournament. There's more fighting than weapons in this match. Who can blame you? These men are both proud athletes, proud champions. And they be the next World Heavyweight Champion come Legacy. And now, two stars delivering the punches to Masters. Masters down to one knee. Kick to the ribs. Bit and switch. Kick to the ribs. Oh! Dear God. Masters is timing his shots well. He knows he's going to feel the pain. He has to time it now. With that kick to the side of his head. Hope Q remembers where he lives. Because he might not be in this match anymore, too. Q was able to kick out of that one. We got injured ribs, injured shoulder, and both of them being winded at the same time. And now both of them staggered, trying to gain them, trying to gain to their feet. Whoever gets up first, they have this match in the bag. If you're just going for a cover, you go now. Wait a minute, the kick. Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a no. Big swing. Big swing. Big swing. Dear God. That's a lot of rotation. And now Q is dizzy as well. Q can't. Q can't. There he is. I don't know if he found him or if he just fell at the right time, but Q made his mark. Should be going for the cover now. He's going for it. Got that arm over one. Two. No. That big swing disoriented him. All about that fall. He just doesn't know when his ribs are going to land. 
Two stars laying down, trying to gain, trying to gain his little, trying to gain his line of sight right now. I hope the world still isn't spinning as it is for Masters. Now they're both dizzy. Now Masters and Q slowly getting up again, waiting for their moments to strike. They're both, they gotta be in unamountable pain right now. Whoa! Go for the RKO again! He rolls! Wait a minute! Masters! Masters! Goddamn shoulder breaker! One! Two! Double knee! Mas and there it is! That he's losing focus right now! Aggression is great in this match, but it also like, takes away your focus! He needs to stay focused on the task at hand! Stay focused on his trip to Legacy if he polishes off this match tonight! But he can't let his anger get the best of him. Or it'll be another side we do not choose to see. In an environment where it's totally legal. Two stars feeling it in his shoulder now. These aren't even power moves. These are just focused on the injured limbs of each other. Q's been working on the ribs of Masters. And Masters has been focusing on that arm. Both are crucial for each one of their finishes. If Q can't lift you, how can he slam you? And now he's going, trying to chop away. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And now forearms to the face of Q. Q's back into a corner. And like a cage leg, and they're both fighting back, exchanging blows to each other. And they have a forearm, and they have a smack. And there it is. Q's getting his second win in this match. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, got it. Oh! Superman punch! Out of fucking nowhere! Masters knows his shot is there! One! Two! Masters impromptu jubilation on the cover. Masters is wondering what he has to do. Right now he has the speed advantage. He can get to the covers. But he has to put Q away for the three. Q knows the ribs are injured. If he just grabs a hold of him again in the center of the ring like he did before, he can win this as well. But once again, it comes down to who can hide the pain more. Wait a minute. Going for it, Masters. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no fucking way. Oh! Snake eyes, he's going for the fish, no! Uh, no! No! Just cross face! Cross face chicken wing! Cross face chicken wing! He's got the wraps! Oh my god, he tapped! He tapped out! Masters got it! Masters did it! He found the shoulder, he found the moment, and he struck! Samuel Masters found his moment, he picked the target, he got the shoulder, and now he has won the Hardcore Hell Tournament. Roland Havoc was nowhere to be found in this match either. We thought that he would have something to do with this, but with his family issues at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised he's not in the ring. But right now, Samuel Masters has done it. The 2014 Hardcore Hell Tournament winner and the man who will face the champion at Legacy. The greatness has won the damn tournament. And who could blame him? Letting the crowd know his aggression. His body's got to be racked with pain. The adrenaline has worn off. But that did not take away his smile, which apparently is from ear to ear right now, as he goes to Legacy. I told you two weeks ago. I told you this morning on my way here. I told you during Spain. I told you during here. This is my time. This is my hell! Legacy! It doesn't matter if it's run or my bitch kill switch! I will be a world heavyweight champion again!
It's Q Star still in the ring. Masters in the ring. They both gave each other hell. Q Stars at least has his shoulder still attached to his body. A show of respect from Samuel Masters. A rare moment in the BWA. Usually he'll flip you off and leave. But right now, Samuel Masters is happy. He's going to Legacy and he is called out. The world heavyweight champion, whomever that may be, at Hell on Earth.